Okay, all right. <laughs> Hello. Wait, I have to do my lips. Oh, do your lips. Right. Jackie is such a professional that she has to have the lips just right so they enunciate correctly. Hey, you have to lubricate your tools. Ooh, that's the road we're going down this week. Already, on huh? <laughs> informed opinion. Or it could be too much informed. TMI. Oh, is that right? TMIO? You might feel that way by the end. <laughs> I am Scott Leisure. This is the remarkable Jackie Selby. Hello. Irascible sons of bitches. Exactly. This is the new and improved, or actually the improved, or the, I don't know. We are the only podcast here <laughs> at Informed Opinion. That gives free refills. Free refills. Free refills. Right, right here on Informed Opinion. <sighs> How's your week, Selby? Good. Except my apartment flooded. Mm -hmm. Is that what that noise was when we? Uh, yeah, Jackie so I've had comes these blowers. On. You know those carpet blowers? They're blue and they got this big fan thing and they go. <laughs> Jackie enters the room. She's like, I have to turn down the noise. The fans are too loud. And I'm like, well, we're not, we don't have any fans. <laughs> Wrong fan. <laughs> yeah, you survived all that flooding though. I think so. I don't know. <clears throat> That's how the kids wear their pants now. Anyhow, Jackie, just, you'll be in style. Floods. Floods. Uh-huh. Tight and floods. I enjoyed a lecture today. I see that you're wearing, are you wearing your Colorado gay pin? Well, yeah, it's pride. I'm, I'm celebrating my Italian pride since Italian they took pride? away Listen, our holidays. No problem with pride. I got no problem with gay. And I was watching a, a very nice lecture by the guy who is the president of the, um, anyways, he's just a regular gay guy and he's anti- the trans terrorist movement. He called it the trans terrorist movement that's pushing to mutilate little kids. And um, instead of just being gay, they're moving them to cut off their genitalia. Anyway. If, if I would have known we were going down that road. Oh. I would have brought up the transcript. All, not all I've been thinking about, but when I when I hear you know the um, transitional surgery discussion and stuff, and I cannot find it to save my life online, there was a Saturday Night Live skit. I think I've talked about this before, where Phil Hartman plays the doctor that has mi miraculously just given birth to little girls, but fifty percent of the little girls. They're, they're born with male genitalia, Jackie, and they have to perform a little surgery, remove the penis, and there you go. He was, he was the, the joke was he was mutilating all these babies. Oh. But, yeah. Okay, it's eight minutes in, and we're talking about genitalia. You're right. It's bad. Welcome to Informed Opinion. I'm <laughs> Scott start Lewis, over? This is Jackie <laughs> Selby. We are the only podcast that gives mm. free refills. Yeah, good place to start over for the replay. Too bad we're live right now. <laughs> okay, speaking of free refills, this, this I didn't even plan this segue. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Did you know, Selby? I'm ready. Big Macs. First of all, did you know Big Macs don't have tomatoes on them? I learned of that this week. Hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us. Oh, that's have it your way, have it your way. I don't know. Big Macs cost different prices in different parts of the country. Okay. Hmm? It's called Miconomics. Wow. Travelers be advised. Scott is putting on his glasses for this one. You can save a buck. If you get your Big Mac, like on the way to DIA, 
instead of at the concourse. We know that. I mean, it's going to cost more at the airport, right? But in New England, a Big Mac costs you like $7.50, $8, okay? What? For a Big Mac? For a Big Mac, okay. The same thing is less than five bucks here in Denver. A Big Mac in um, like, I think it's in West Texas will cost you like 350. Okay. Oh, they Stigler, got more beef there. O- Stigler, Oklahoma, 349. They got more cows, beef. Big, oh, it's called Big Maconomics, has a okay. storied tradition among economists to gauge inflation, consumer purchasing power, and regional price variation. I I failed us just a couple of times this week. How so? Well, you had to use your card to pay for something. What was it? I had to use my card. I had to use my card for a bratwurst and a pretzel at the Rockies game. Oh, because they don't take cash. No. And I had to use my card. Very nice mug you got there. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's all me. If if you're nice, Selby, you might get one. <laughs> Did you sign up for it on Etsy or it's, something? It's a it's a big mug. If I send you one of these, you know what? You could scoop water right out of your apartment with it. <laughs> Just bail it out, bail it out, bail it out. Dude, I was using a, a wet vac and a, a two different brooms to sweep the water out. It was so deep in here. Was it as deep as the opening of the show? Was it that deep? Man. Um, no, at the Rockies game, I do know there is like one or two stands there that do take cash, but I have yet to locate them. So okay, I sucked it up at the Rockies for a bratwurst and a dry pretzel. Okay. Okay. Um, I needed to use my card. Oh, for the phone thing. Still with oh, the, yeah, phone the phone thing. thing. We already talked about that. I'd use it for card. But check this out. We've got this um, chain of restaurants that are popping up here in the in the Mile High metro area called Bonchon. Bon it's a Korean fried chicken. Okay. And I'm like, ooh, Korean fried chicken. Who doesn't love bulgogi? Who doesn't love saying bulgogi? Say it. Bulgogi. 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 Bonchon. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now say big maconomics. Big maconomics. Big maconomics. Big maconomics. Don't try this at home. I am a professional. (laughs) Back off. She's a professional. So. They open a bonjon around the corner. Okay. They don't take cash. Oh, they take cash. Okay. So I'm like, cool. Let's get some bonjon. Zoomer and I want to, um, you know, get a little culture, get some Korean fried chicken. Sounds amazing. Some bulgogi, you know, maybe some ramen. Who knows? Looking at the menu online. I said, Zoomer, uh, I buy, you fly. He says, why don't you just order, pay for it here? I'm like, I'm not using my card. I will call them, place the order. You go down and pay for it. What could go wrong? Easy peasy, right? That is a giant mug. What did you make a sticker and put it on some giant mug from the thrift store? (laughs) <laughs> no, no. Would I do that? Yes, you would. Anyhow, I digress. So I call. You know, Bon John, how may I help you? Uh, I needed to order some bulgogi to pick up. Okay, can we get your card number? Oh, no, no, I'm just going to pay when I get there. Oh, no, if you order over phone, you have to pay over phone. Oh, I literally, they would not allow me. And I think part part of that is because, yeah, people will order, you know, 
three hundred dollars worth of food and not go pick it up. But either way, I was not allowed to call ahead, place an order, go down, pay cash, pick it up. Hmm. Now, you know, I come from a storied restaurant career. I mean, that to me, that I mean, they just they lost my business. You know, yeah, they lost my business. Yeah. Did it's, you tell them so though? No, they don't. Come on, Jackie. You I'll don't think go... they care? No. I would have said, here's what I would have said. I think that's a failed policy. I'd like you to present that to your manager at your next staff meeting. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll call him back and tell him that. That's good. <laughs> Is that ridiculous? <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's okay. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, hi. I would like to tell you how to run your business. Well, how do you, how do, you know, I don't know, we have to, t have it's, to complain if you don't like the policy. No, because 9.9% .9 of people will just comply and be like, oh, okay, Korean fried chicken sounds really good. Well, that's here's what my, I mean. Here's my card, you know, but so why do they care about, you know, why would they care about me? If 99.9% .9 people are going to conform. And they're going to pay with their card. You know, bye, bye. Go down All the right. street. Go down no the street. Bonchon. No Bonchon. Fine, no Bonchon. No mm -hmm. Bonchon. Bonchon's bonchon. on the list. Who else was on the list? There was another one from last week or the week before that we put on the list. <sighs> no Bonchon. No Bonchon. Okay. I wonder what they would do. Well, no. What was it you sent me? Um, San Francisco. Yeah, there's got to okay. be a bonchon in San Francisco. This is really, this is a really great story. <laughs> Excuse me, and it was sent by my sister, so we appreciate that, Janet. Thank you, Janet. So San Francisco has something called a cashless ban. It's upheld in the city council or whatever the county, city and county of San Francisco. Businesses say that cash brings crime to the city, but the city is like, no, you still have to take cash. And they're saying that if we take cash, then there's more robberies. There's more crime in San Francisco, like as if San Francisco needs another reason. But the ban went into effect like pre-COVID and then they used COVID as like, oh, well, you can get COVID off of a $5 bill. So then well, they no. could string it along. And now they just have kept it. No, it's the other way around. They're saying that you have to accept cash. It's a cashless ban. It's a ban on cashlessness. A ban, okay, I'm following you now. A ban on cashlessness. <clears throat> but, the, but the businesses are complaining, saying, if we don't, um, if, if we didn't have to take cash, there'd be less crime in San Francisco, which, as we know, is complete horseshit. But people are um, walking by like cafe tables and whatever. And if there's cash left as a tip, mm -hmm. whoop, they're picking it up and running away. Now, listen, come by and bust your table on time then. How about that? Take the cash yourself. So the yep. cashless ban was upheld. So I do admire them for that. But the spin on the article was that the restaurant owners are saying, oh, no, dude, we have to offer cash. And it takes time. And our guy has to bend over to the cash drawer and bring the cash out from behind the counter. <laughs> you just sounded like 50% of the servers I ever hired in my restaurant career. <laughs> I know, right? So anyway, thank, thank the... Cat San Francisco's on its way out anyways. I keep watching videos and there's so much crime and people in you know the junkies and their bend over what did you do for the mug how did you get the mug rice aroni i told you selby if you're nice <clears throat> you might get one Jeez, louise so the, we changed the name of the show to the uh informed opinion and people are liking it they are wow. they're liking it they think it's cool they think it's slick they do they like it people like they're it. like they're like enough leisure yeah the now go ahead casa bonita is reopening and 
you know, they went through like this $40 million renovation, the guys from South Park, which I can't watch because it gives me like ocular migraines because of the way those dudes jerk around. Um, it's funny. I just can't watch. I watched like a minute of it. I'm like, I can't do this, man. I'm, I'm starting to get a headache. Um, I'm having an ocular migraine. I'm having an ocular South Park <laughs> migraine. Um, they eliminated tips altogether. They just paid $30 an hour, which. Mm, what? I think uh, as a server bartender, I think I could make more than $30 an hour. I can make $30 on a table, you know? Oh, so very interesting. Thank you for that. The only podcast that gives free Sopapia refills. Oh, all right. So this is what I'm doing this weekend. Do tell. I'm going to goat stravaganza. Goat stravaganza. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask you. I know you okay. can do it. All right. You want me to just take pictures for next week? <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't going to ask you to, to say it five times fast. Oh, goat stravaganza, goat stravaganza, goat stravaganza, goat stravaganza. Okay, it's on a farm called Springhaven Farm, and they're having food trucks, ice cream, games, fun, locally brewed beer, and of course, goats with hats. Goats with hats. That was that 80s band, right? No, <laughs> men without hats. Oh, that's I can, goats without hats. I can hats. goat if I want to. I, I can, can leave I that can. goat behind. Oh, man. <laughs> You are the greatest of all time, Jackie Sol. <laughs> I can go if I want to. All right, so that's my goat story. Uh, <laughs> what else? Oh, do you have that picture of the camping, the camping picture? Oh, oh, do I? All right, good. Uno momento. Let me bring this up and we'll make it a little bigger and we will here screen sharing um, he's screen sharing i'm getting a little faster in my old age there we okay. go all right now look at this ad for tylenol pm if you guys will look it's got the water boiler the little pot the coffee pot your backpack a flashlight over here there is a grizzly bear your 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 water filter water um uh -huh. the little gas burner yeah <laughs> and Tylenol PM now what could go wrong if you're camping and you take a drug that puts you to sleep um this bear over here would eat you oh my god who made this ad campaign and who okayed it you know what's missing is that one of those straws that they saw at Costco where you you can drink like the rainwater. It must be in the picture there somewhere. Yeah, I'm taking Tylenol PM <laughs> camping in Summit County or something. It's the most ridiculous picture I've ever seen in my life. Make nighttime relief part of your gear. So Tylenol you can get PM. eaten by at the wildlife while you're laying there snoozing because you know people drink when they camp too. Once you're out, you're never coming back. It says, use as directed, Tylenol PM contains a pain reliever and a nighttime sleep aid. N not to be taken w in, in the company of bears. Or, or with alcohol and beer in the company of bears after you've eaten 25 s'mores because you smoked the marijuana in Colorado. <laughs> Yogi, I don't think the ranger is going <laughs> to like this. Uh. All right. Now, oh, I should have I should have uh, jumped here. Let me Seriously, who okayed this? That was that that advertisement is on my Facebook feed. I guarantee you somebody here in Colorado <laughs> driving a Subaru <laughs> with their Patagonia <laughs> is like, "Honey, we should really pack the town all PM. Look at oh, this ad I as saw." If um you go to share screen again. Let me bring up this picture. <laughs> and have you seen this? <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> so if anybody doesn't know, the man on the left is, <laughs> is God rest his soul, Jeffrey Epstein, who... <laughs> 
killed himself in prison killed himself did you see on the news the other night there's they're like okay with all those conspiracy theories it's all laid to rest now because one of the uh guys came out and said he tried to revive him so it's yeah, all over now it's the guy all that, over now the guy that fell asleep tried to revive him in his cell we're gonna by be himself, in big trouble where they gave him the extra linens you know it all it all adds up okay he was on suicide watch you don't give a guy extra linens on suicide watch mm-hmm well, it all adds up because they said so, Jackie. The man on the right is on your $20 bill, Andrew Jackson. So either Jeffrey Epstein is actually Andrew Jackson or he jumped in his DeLorean and came. I don't know. It's it's cool, though. I just thought it was cool. Wish we could see the ear attachment. That's the telltale thing. That's Biden. Oh, sorry. That's Biden's ear attachment changed over the years. Right. That's the... Uh, the fake Biden has the ear attached. The real Biden has it detached. Right. I'm sorry yeah. if you're, I'm sorry. If you're a Diet Coke lover, I'm sorry. You've got to stop the Diet Cokes. Diet Coke is going to kill the Mormons because they all drink it. Aspartame, one of the world's most common artificial sweeteners, is set to be declared a possible, possible carcinogenic. Possibly next month by a leading global health body pitting it against the food industry and regulators this is from reuters of all people of course they're 10 years behind the times but diet coke is the number one consumer of aspartame well i think it was what last week the week before they came out i think it was reuters as well they came out and said that cigarettes also uh can cause cancer <laughs> it can might will might Oh man, did you? I wish I would have. I should have grabbed a picture. Have you? Did you see a Robert F. Kennedy like working out with his guns out? Yeah, oh, yeah. The dude is like ripped. ripped. <laughs> For seventy years old, he if if you put Boris Putin, what's his name? Putin. <laughs> if you put Boris. Putin, if you put Putin. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in the in the cage match. You know, two oh. men enter, one man leave. I'm getting on Bet Fred RFK Jr. all day long. He is, he's ripped. I would put him up against uh uh the governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, he's a big pile of goo nowadays. Mm -hmm. What else do I have for you? Oh, yeah. One more food item. Maybe you already saw this, but the U.S. is going to challenge the Mexican ban on genetically modified corn. One more oh. time, the U.S. is going to challenge the Mexican ban on gen genetically modified corn. So in Mexico, they don't genetically modify the corn, but we do. The Roundup corn, that's what they call it, right? Roundup corn, yeah. Yeah, and Roundup Bi corn. Biden says it would, he's going to request talks with Mexico over this brewing trade fight. Biden doesn't even know what he had for lunch, let alone the last time he ate corn. Or tacos. You know, <laughs> he's challenging the ban because they don't genetically modify their corn. And and help me out here. When they genetically modify the corn, it's so they can spray everything in sight and everything will die except the corn. Except the corn. Mm -hmm. Now think about that. Yeah. Again, I say, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Um, yeah. It what do you do, man? I mean, I've always tried my best when I go shopping to shop on the outer perimeter of the store mm -hmm. try not to go into the aisles because that's where all the that's where all the you know chemicals pro, are pro, yeah that's where all the chemicals are the processed shit all that good stuff um but but now it's almost i don't know i know where did you get the mug are you gonna tell me i see the i see the sticker on the bottom of it you got okay, it at the what, thrift store here's what i did selby <laughs> i went to the thrift store I purchased a white mug. The biggest one you could find? 
It was the only blank white mug, but yeah, okay, it's the biggest right, one. Okay. I, well, I had to fit all those letters on it. Letters on it. Um, and then I went and yeah, I found some stickers. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. Very nice, huh? Very nice. Wait till you see what the one says I'm going to send you. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait till I get an apartment that doesn't flood. What'd you say? Wade into your apartment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wade. Uh, Wade. Yep. Wade for president. <clears throat> Hey, I like this one. You'll like this one too if you're, well, because we're, you know, of the sober variety. Yes. Toxicity stops looking like excitement and peace stops looking like boredom. Yeah, it does. At what point? Pretty quick. When the like, um, it, was it pretty quick? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I, that's. A, I'm sorry. I don't know. I wasn't timing it. <laughs> One more time. Toxicity ends. Mm -hmm. Please hold. Where? Toxicity stops looking like excitement. Toxicity stops looking like excitement. And peace stops looking like boredom. He's going to tap. <laughs> You're tapping it out. Okay, are we going to tap? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not on the nipples. Oh, oh. And you're supposed to chant when you tap, aren't you? Well, you're supposed to say the thing. Even though I'm really upset about the flooding in my apartment. Bon Chan can go to hell. Bon Chan can go to hell. I will pay cash. Even though I will pay cash. Even though I will accept my cash. Mad at my apartment complex. I know that I will find a better, suitable apartment for myself. I know that even though I'm mad at the flooding, even though I'm afraid of mold exposure. Okay, I've got one. The speed limit is 65. I'm doing 80 and you blew by me at 110. <laughs> I, even though I hope you hit the guardrail, I don't. <laughs> even though what Don is the John will not cook food without a credit card. <laughs> I still love Korean food. Bulgogi, bulgogi, bulgogi. All you have to do is give the food to the dishwasher if nobody picks it up. Yeah. <laughs> and take it off of his paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, man. I know, Here we're going. To, we're going to hell. Today's, there's today's notes. Oh, look at what I have. There it is. What the is Bible. it? Some, some new headsets? No, the Bible. The thousand, the thousand and one songs. You, Jackie Selby, must hear before you die. Okay. Let's go. Let's oh, go. you're kidding. A thousand and one songs? Yeah. Um, how about you can go if you want to, you can leave your goats behind. Where's a good one? We need a okay, goat boy go. quote on here. Hammer her. Go your own way by Fleetwood Mac. It says, Stevie Nicks in 2009 says, go your own way was angry and nasty. And in my opinion, extremely disrespectful. Obviously, oh. that was written by Lindsay Buckingham, I would guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. And I just popped up to page 478 of the 1001 songs that you have to hear before you die. Duran Duran's Girls on Film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two minutes later, girls on film. <laughs> We're showing our age. Oh, there's a dog. A Hi. Puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Um, How cute. Who's that? That is Zira. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Zira, like from the Planet of the Apes? Like it's uh it's an African term meaning um I'm not sure if I know my name when people call it. Oh so 
Yeah. She's cute. Yeah, she's a doll. She is a doll. Might not be the sharpest uh, tool in the shed, but... <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's why they have, you know... I'm, no, I will. I will stay. I'm wearing the pride pin. I will stay politically somewhat correct. Oh boy! Well, we covered a lot of ground in 35 minutes, didn't we? We went from <clears throat> talking about mutilation. Yeah, we've had some viewers, and it looks like they've stayed. So we oh, haven't. That's good. We haven't totally annoyed everybody. Who? Who's let me tell viewing? you the story. Let me tell you the story about this shirt really quick, Selby. Oh, please! Is says Allison Chains. Yep. It's an Alice in Chains shirt. A, it's, it's, if you haven't noticed, it's yellow. Yes. So in a return trip to the thrift store to find another blank white mug okay. <laughs> to make my friend Jackie a matching <laughs> mug so we can look cool and chic on okay. the newly rebranded cool as fuck podcast yes informed information informed opinion <laughs> i knew i was gonna screw up once man opinionated information there you have it mm -hmm. informed opinion informed opinion informed opinion <laughs> bonchan can suck my left nipple um <laughs> I walk in with my buds in because a, I don't want anybody to talk to me, even though they still do. And I'm like, I give, I, I don't even have the music on. Sometimes I'll just be like, that's the international sign of, I can't hear you. Yeah. So go ahead. Yes. Yes. Listening to my tunes. I think it was man in the box comes on Alice in Chains, you know, yeah. Start. My first stop is always the extra large t-shirt rack. Okay. Start flipping through as I'm listening to, you know, can you sew them shut? You know, um, man in the box. Oh, there's the shirt right there. Just saying, hi, nice. hey, Scott. <clears throat> we made it happen for you. It was awesome. I, oh. Those moments. And then I went over to get a coffee. And the girl at the coffee shop is like, I like your shirt. I'm like, let me just tell you, I just bought this shirt five minutes ago. And this is what happened. But it's moments like that, you know, where if you are just caught up and in, in the run, in the frenzy of everything that's going on in life, if you're zipping by the guy that's already speeding down the highway and you're doing 110, it's moments like that, Jackie Selby. Yes. That just go right by you. You don't even see them, you know? But if you can stay in your lane, if you can do the speed limit, if you can drive illegally with your buds in and listen to your music, listen to your Alice in Chains, listen to your Waylon Jennings, listen to your girls on film, then and only then will you notice those little moments in life, you know, that... Stay in the moment, live in the moment. Live right in the present. Yeah. And <clears throat> shop in the thrift store. Yes. How much shop. did they get you for that shirt? $5.99? You, you can pay, you know what? You can pay cash at the ARC. And if your your pennies and nickels are over 50 cents, the lady, if it's if it's like 49 cents, they won't ask you. If it's 50 or 51 cents or more, hey, would you like to round up today to help, you know, the uh, yeah, the special the special olympics or whatever it is so how much was it this shirt was like four bucks all right and look look how much entertainment value compliments and just we got out of it now yeah. the reason i ask you for the price is because my sister frequents the thrift stores for me mm -hmm. especially for career wear mm -hmm. so you know you gotta have cool things to look on camera you know mm -hmm. at work and so anyways She'll say, I like this sweater, but it's like $25 at Goodwill. I'm like, why? When you could go get it over at the Gap for $25. Oh, you almost said Target. I don't do the Target now. I went to look for the, the <clears throat> bathing suits and they just weren't, I couldn't find them. The tuck wear. Well, next week when we meet on Informed Opinion... 
Very good. It will be July. So, okay. I mean, yeah, we've enjoyed, we've enjoyed our gayness this month. July. Oh, so gayness is over? Gayness is over. You, you know, you can go back into the closet, Jackie. I really did. I really appreciated that guy saying that the LGBT Uh community has been hijacked by the trans terrorists. LGBTQ. You left one Has been hijacked by the trans movement and the trans, he calls them trans terrorists. It was really a good, a very good lecture. Trans terrorists. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. What do they do? Tie a bomb to their high heels or what? Well, no, <clears throat> you know, going to schools and sh- doing, yeah. you know, yeah, and I went this week, got a pedicure, decided, you know what, Th- you know, I really, there's nothing more disgusting to me than like fingernails and toenails. They're they're like the like when I clip my nails, I have to flush them down the toilet. They have to go, they out of sight, out of mind. Go, go away. Okay. So I'm like, well. You know, there's a whole wall of colors, you know, she said right then and there, she was like, you pick, a pick color? your color. Yeah. You pick a color. Yes. I was like, yes, I will pick a color. I will pick a three colors. So I just, I went, I kept my Italian pride, my Italian heritage. And I just went <laughs> red on the big toe, you know, red, <laughs> white, and green. And then I rolled to the Rockies game on pride night in, in the sandals. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I just fit right in, man. You fit right in. Mm-hmm fitting in is not fitting in or wait something like that something like that all right scott have a nice long weekend Ooh, i intend to keep tuning in keep looking for the little blurbs remember informed opinion you know we're gonna we're gonna keep keep this thing organically or or um oh that was your cherry juice or or and that stuff is good look at that delicious the organic growth of the podcast continues thank you as always jackie selby for your time thank your you. um your demeanor and your professionalism thank you scott that's nice of you to say have a Enjoy nice your weekend fourth. thanks keep, keep the dogs away from the fireworks mm-hmm. um you know salute a veteran all that raw raw shit and just be safe you know watch out for the speeders Watch out for the attacking orcas, drink your water, um, pay cash, and pay bye cash bye Friday bye. tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Bye bye, Bonchon. Bye bye, Bonchon. All right. Happy trails, Selby. See you later, alligator. Be good. You too. <laughs>